I'm wedding and portrait photographer Vanessa Joy and you guys can join me on a bridal session. We're going to do a lot in a little bit of time, which is pretty much how every wedding photographer has to work. So let's get going with what I call the quick six, the basic poses that you have to do with any bride. And then we're going to have a little bit of fun. Okay. So we have Juliana here. You're going to first lean on one leg. This is going to right off the bat, give my subject, my client, uh, a nice S curve and good base to start with. Go ahead and hold your flowers up. Now normally whenever a bride is holding flowers, that's about the spot that they end up and we don't want that for two reasons. One, it covers her dress and two, she's got a nice right arm strength going on. <laughs> so go ahead and lower them a little bit. Now she looks nice and graceful. Tuck your arms back a little bit, a little bit lower on the bouquet and that's your spot. Once I have my bride in her spot, I just start shooting. So that's what we're going to do. I've got the Canon R5 with me today along with the 85 millimeter 1.2. I'm not going to go all the way down to 1.2. I'll probably stick somewhere around 2.2, but let's get a good base exposure. Perfect. So this looks good. I'm going to back up just so I can get a little bit more of the environment. Love that. Good. Look down at your flowers. Nice. Look back up at me. Cute. Look out towards the sun. Love that. And look down there like you're just kind of shyly looking. Nice. Wonderful. Always remember to vary your crops and such too. So we're going to do the exact same thing looking at me. Look down at your flowers and then look out to the, <laughs> the future. <laughs> Cute. All right. So that's what I call the quick six. A little looking down at the flowers, looking at me, looking out and getting it in two different crops, close up and full length. All right. That's the boring stuff. Now let's have a little fun. <laughs> All right. You can put the flowers down this way. Grab your veil and just kind of bring it in front and around. Cute, look down at it. Look at what you're doing there. For the most part, I want her looking that way because that's where the light is. Beautiful. And they just kind of catch where her arm goes. Really pretty. Nice, actually bring it kind of around this way. Love that. Pretty, and then look off that way. Keep it around here, like you're kind of, yep, and then bring your shoulder back a whole bunch. I really like how this nope. can get all of that uh, scalloping right there, and that also helps slim down the arm. So if you want to slim down the arm, of course, you can move it away from the camera a little bit more, but if you want it to have a little pop, you bring the veil directly down it and it sort of cuts it in half, makes it look longer. Beautiful. Love that. And look down that way again, right there. Good. All right, let me take this and we'll add a little movement here because movement is fun. So you're going to take your dress in the middle and then just kind of play. So you're going to, that dress will probably turn. So kind of give it a little whip around. Yes, that's great. So we'll do that a couple more times. Love it. Perfect. That I love. So when you go do that one again, yep. Look totally at me and then give it a real big twirl. Ah, I love that. Good. And then do it one more time. Love that. And then go all the way around so you can fluff your dress and veil. Maybe hold on to the veil too. And then like you're going to give it all you've got and actually do a whole step that way. We'll do one, two, three. Beautiful. Do it one more time. Love it. All right, and then you're gonna slowly walk towards me. And when you walk, walk like catwalk. So one foot in front of the other, like you're on a balance beam. Cute, nice, look down, love that. All right, let's get the back of your dress. So you're gonna turn around, walk back where you came from. Nice, look back at me, perfect. Cute, and then keep walking. I'm gonna stop right there. Leave that there. So you're gonna pretend like you're holding an acorn. A little bit lower right here and make sure as much as you can, like roll your arms back. And when you look forward, you're gonna kind of look down, but stick your forehead forward, your chin forward as you do it. Yes, makes it look super graceful. Make sure we see that. Right there. That looks amazing. 
and then look out towards the garden. Look back towards your dress. Gorgeous. Good. And do like a little giggle. <laughs> Perfect. And then look forward one more time. Love that. All right. I'm going to change my lens and do my absolute favorite shot I do with all brides. So before I do my absolute favorite shot, I just want to make sure I have all of the bridal details. So I'm really quickly with my 15 millimeter lens, basically going to do circle around her and photograph all the little things. So that looks good there. We'll start with the flowers. And when you photograph the flowers, it's also nice to make sure you're getting a couple more details in there too. And that F 2.0, which is a little shallow, uh, but honestly, it's kind of the style right now for this sort of thing. So gonna stick with it. I'm also gonna make sure that I get like little scalloping details of her veil. And it doesn't always have to be perfect but in this case also make sure you get her dress. <laughs> the rule is if she spent money on it photograph it. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> I think we're good. Now let's do the fun stuff. So to do this correctly, I want to make sure that I have a nice white background behind her, which I do. Some nice even light coming under here with me. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Now usually I do this with an assistant as to not mess up the bride's hair because that's a no-no on a wedding day. Okay, that looks great. You can bring the flowers up a little bit more, like right there. Yep. All right, I do like going all the way down to one, two for this shot. It just makes it fun. Nice. Love it. Go ahead and look down one more time. Just gonna get my focus where I need it and then I'll have you move around. This is why it's better when it's above my head so it's not getting in front where I don't want it. There we go. Nice. Look, lean a little bit this way so I can get your eyelashes. Yes, yeah, right there. And then look up at me. Nice, big cheesy bridal smile. Cute. And then let's drop the flowers. Okay, <laughs> they're fake, so we can do that. So you're gonna play with the veil a little bit too. So just kind of try and actually maybe bringing it a little bit close to you. Yeah, just get a focus. Love that. It's like bed sheets, cuddling it. <laughs> really pretty. Just makes it all types of whimsical. Perfect. Nice, love that. Bring both your hands in so they're both, yep. Ooh, right there, hold that. Bring it in. Chin down a little more. Yep. There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Mm. Just one eyeball, that's all I needed. <laughs> and here we are in Lightroom. I'm going to skip right past the productivity tools and just start with my joyfully simple preset. I honestly could have imported the photos with the preset because I knew that's what I was going to do. And then come over and make some adjustments and synchronize everything before going in and cropping and doing a little bit of tweaking to each individual image. Now I specifically underexposed these images so that I could expose for the highlights because I knew that she was in shade and the background was definitely a bit brighter than her skin tone as far as exposure went. So I had to work with that a little bit in post, especially being that I wanted to shoot this in natural light and I didn't want to use flash because I really wanted to concentrate on posing. If you want to watch a video on flash, we've got plenty of those here. So the main things that I'm doing as I'm going through, obviously you see some cropping. I can't take a straight picture to save my life. I probably should put the grids on in my camera, but I don't. 
And the other things that I'm doing is just balancing that background, making sure not to blow it out, but brightening her skin tone to what was a little bit more accurate and true to skin color. I'm also making sure that I don't kill the blacks. I really don't like killing the blacks. This photo I loved in black and white, so I took a little extra time here going into local adjustment brushes and making sure there wasn't that vignette that you're sort of seeing around and in the corners. I do apologize if you can hear my son laughing. Those of you that work at home know there's just no escaping that. Anyway, I tried cropping this photo but ended up liking it being a little bit asymmetrical and that's what I went with. Now this photo, because it is a close up of her, I wanted to go in with my retouching tools right in Lightroom, local adjustment brushes. They are a part of my preset pack and just do some things like contouring the skin, saturating the eyes, whitening the eyes, punching the lashes, even darkening some of her hands really so that the attention goes straight towards her eye. I don't like to go crazy when it comes to the eye, a little bit of saturation, nothing insane. I did go ahead and whiten her teeth ever so slightly and then whiten her eyes. Now I don't normally do this, but there was just an itty bitty blood vessel that I noticed on her eye that was a little bit distracting for me. So I went in with the clone tool that didn't work so well. So I switched over to the healing brush, which is a neat little trick that you can just do. And I got the result that I wanted. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of this. And these are the before and afters really quick. So you can see all of them of just my favorite photos and how I personally would have edited them. Not that there's anything wrong with the really light and airy look that you saw in this video. Some styles are exactly like that. It's really quite subjective. Here are my favorite 10 images from the shoot. I'm Vanessa Joy. If you want to see more about photography gear and even marketing, hit the bell, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.